Okie dokie. Mark, I just found a way, a easy way to show you how to plant this sugar cane. Each joint has a little bud on it. Well, hang on, let me show you one without a starter on it. These are trying to all start to grow. Hold on. See right there? That's what starts sprouting. It'll start rooting from around there. You cut in between them pieces. But see the little sprouts that come out? See that? That's the that'll grow a new plant. There's another one coming out down there. So when I get ready, when I send you some of this, I'll I'll give you them two too, and it'll give you that. See the little roots and little bumps? Those are the roots coming out. See right there, there's some roots. They can grow out in the band. At that. That's why I say if you cut it in half, you know, right in the center of the two hot things there, you know, right there. That gives you plenty for each section when you cut them. If you just sit it with that little eye, you know, pointing up, you know, make sure you keep them moist. You know, not sopping wet just like you would a regular garden. And they'll take off, man. That all right there came from one piece of that sugar cane I got from another guy. and stuck in the ground right there and it just took off. Well, actually I had it now there in my garden that started taking it over and I dug it up and brought it up here. <laughs> and this has been cut down every year for about five years, maybe longer than that, maybe about seven years. But you, I've cut it down this year and ground it up into my uh, compost pile because it was hanging all over my garden over here. It shades it out. But yeah, I, I get the grandkids over here, and what I'll do is I'll. Uh, cut some of it and I take it and just whack it on the side of the tank and it, it, it frays it out like a broom and they'll chew the heck out of it. That are split it into quarters and at quarters and uh, they'll sit and chew on that stuff you know and then spit the pulp out but uh, yeah it's good stuff. Uh, I mean I don't make molasses or sugar or anything like that out of it but I don't got enough of it but I wish I did I used to love molasses fresh molasses it's or whatever they called it you know we used to eat it on pancakes man that's good stuff it got a unique flavor but yeah it uh that one got pushed over and gotta clean it up but you can see it it don't once it takes hold uh yeah there's it, it'll just keep going and if you got enough room you know you just keep taking uh you know canes of it and, and keep planting them and before long you'll have a field of that stuff if you want it you could definitely uh have enough to uh make you some stuff out of but look at the tassel on that Sugar cane. Cool, huh? But, well, it looks like my avocado made it through this year. I hope it blooms this year. That's a big, I grew that thing from a seed. It's made it so far, knock on my head as a piece of wood. Three winter freezes, so. Uh, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to get some uh, avocados off of it. But yeah, buddy, I'll send you some of them. It ain't no problem. I'll, uh, like I said, when I get ready to do it, which will be here soon, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll give you them two shoots there that already got stuff growing on them. And uh, enough to get you, you know, get going real good. Uh, like I said, that's just dirt, and I stuck it in the dirt over there, and, and you know, I fertilize them and give them a little bit of everything. I gave them some 666. Uh, I have that liquid feed I feed my garden with and stuff, and uh, when I'm doing that, I feed them with that too. 
uh, spray a little seven dust in there every once in a while to keep the the worms from eating the daggum leaves off of it and killing them. So, but here's my uh, I was going out and cutting uh, trees out back. You know the small maples and sweet gum and stuff like that and whatever. Gravy's going to show you how big the pile is. <laughs> but that's what I got going, you know, starting to compost out. And what I'll do with that uh, is when I ever get the garden planted, I'll come back and put that all on top of it. Man, that stops them weeds from growing. You know, and your plants are up above it, so you can see that one I need to get the weeds out of. Till it in one more time. And here's the chipper. Uh, I got that thing for 250 bucks on eBay. And it runs like a champ. I had to go pick it up on the other side of the state, but that's okay. It uh, it does good. It only cuts up to three inch, but I tell you what, you take them bigger ones and cut them, and the three inch slabs that'll slide down that chute, it'll eat the shit out of them too. Look, use the language. <coughs> I also take, <coughs> excuse me, some of that stuff and I shred all my paperwork up, especially stuff that's got any kind of important bank numbers or anything. And I take these pools, which I got to start there, I got to get my other one that blew out yonder. And I put it, the stuff in here, and I got worms that I dug from around here. I don't need this rolling in there. <coughs> But hold on just a second. Same. Look at that dirt. But Andy, I gotta cover him back up. He's cold. It's cold out here today. But yeah, that see that's a pretty good bunch of uh uh soil to go in my gardens buddy and, you know it's worm poop and all kinds of compost and I mean that that's black gold and you can see I have a never-ending supply of leaves and stuff so I mix that uh, paper shredding coffee grounds uh, when the uh, grass is growing I'll get fresh grass and put in there and feed them and oh boy they go to town and then every year just before I plant, I come out here and go through it and get them all out and throw them into the new beds. And uh, let them start on that and then I take the old one, which it'll still have some little bitty baby worms and eggs and stuff. And I got, I've dug one out of the, well the tiller did, that son of a gun was uh, almost eight inches long and the tiller had clipped just the end of his head off and killed him. Of course he was wiggling around like a snake, but that's a shame because he was, you know, cheap in the garden aerated and stuff, so. But all right, buddy, I just want to let you know about the uh, sugar cane over there. That's, uh, that's all you got to do. It's easy as heck to grow. Uh, like I said, it's almost like bamboo when it gets going. You know, it'll just keep going and going and going, so. Uh, here in a couple of days, I'll, if I get a chance, I'll send some off to you, all right? See ya. Uh, whoops.